Hi class! This video is the continuation of our discussion, last part 1 under the writing bibliography, and it is still English 8, quarter 1, module 2, under the 2020-2021 Most Essential Learning Competencies, or MELC, and this is the Use Conventions in Citing Sources. Our objectives for this video is first identify the bibliographic parts of an online source, second give importance of citing sources, and third use various conventions in citing sources. Last time we discussed about what is bibliography and also we discussed about the types or formats of sources of information and those are the print and online. And last time, the part 1 video of writing bibliography, we discussed the print sources. And under the print sources are the books. These are the most common and reliable sources of information. Second, periodicals. And under of it are journal magazine and newspaper now let's discuss the online sources this refer to any materials or information taken from the internet so ibig sabihin gumagamit kayo ng online internet like for example i google mga ganon yahoo or kung ano ano yung mga gagamitin ninyo para mag-research kayo. Basta ang ginagamit ninyo dito ay internet. Okay? So, other terms for online sources are electronic sources, web sources, and internet sources. I am reminding you again and again about the noting context clues. So, ibig sabihin, other terms. Pag sinabing other terms, that is synonym Ano ang synonym ng internet? Ano ang other terms ng internet? So, pare-pareho lang yon. Isa lang ibig sabihin nun. Internet pa rin. Okay? So, now, tingnan natin under online sources is the website. Ayan. So, maraming mga websites. No? There are lots of website in the internet. Website this refers to the collection of files and related sources accessible through the World Wide Web and organized under a domain name. Okay, halimbawa. This is the sample format of writing a website bibliography. Again and again, I'm always reminding you, always, first and foremost, author's last name and then the first name of the author and then followed by the page title. Okay? Ano yung title ng page? And then website title, of course. And then kailan ito na published? And then access date. And then don't forget to write the URL. Okay? Here is the illustration. Here is the title. Meaning the title or owner of the site. What is the title? and or owner of site ito ay yung department of education karaga region so yun yun next title of page yung title of page is solid faith and then kunin niyo ang url ibig sabihin ng url means uniform resource locator so Ang gagawin ninyo ay ikakopy nyo and then ipipaste. So, saan yun matatagpuan? Nandoon sa taas yung URL. Okay? So, next is publication date. Kailan na published? June 2, 2020. Sino yung author? Again, uh, last name. Orcolio Ramon Jr. And then followed by title of page solid faith and then next is the title or owner of site department of education karaga region 
and then followed by the publication date june 2 2020 and then the last is the url or uniform resource locator http colon slash slash caraga dot deped dot gov dot ph slash solid dash faith slash ganon ang paggawa ng format ng bibliography na kung ang ginamit ninyong source ay yung website next to the website this is still under the online sources it is called ebooks so i think you are familiar with this these are books that are read on a computer or electronic devices so they are cited exactly as a printed book with the addition of a format at the end of the citation kaya siya tinawag na ebooks tulad din siya ng libro ang pagkakaiba nga lang the difference is mababasa mo siya hindi bilang libro kundi bilang nandoon sa internet okay they are cited exactly as a printed book okay pero pag print mo yon magiging book na rin siya pero yon is ebooks kasi nandoon siya sa online so halimbawa non ay kindle pdf epub etc if books are referred online include the url at the end of the citation kung ang books daw na ginagamit mo or ginamit mo na pinagkuhanan mo ng information ay kailangan daw na isama mo yung url sa end ng citation ano ang url non ano yung kanyang uniform resource locator so if you are researching through internet in the different website of course you are using the url so you need to write the url at the end of the citation okay so i'll show you the format sample format of writing an ebook bibliography okay here it is again here there is a name of publisher teams here is the title of the book how to improve your reading skills here are the authors and then the place published manila philippines copyright year this is 2018 okay so author's last name first followed by the first name of the author and then title of book and in title of book how to improve your reading skills and then place of publication nasaan yon sa place of publication is in manila philippines pagkatapos followed by the name of publisher the name of publisher is teams publishing company and then year of publication kailan ito inilabas kailan lumabas ang issue na ito so year of publication is 2018 so format or ilagay mo ang url sa dulo okay nakuha nyo so sino sino ba ang author nito so andito naman Solis Anime, comma, De La Cruz Christopher, comma, and don't forget the word end kapag ka isa na lang yung natitirang babanggitin mo na author. End, Dizon Jane. Hindi nyo ba na-observed na palaging last name, palaging apelyedo ang nauuna, followed by the first name okay copyright year 2018 and then followed by e pub 
Next, online journals. These are journals read from digital libraries or online databases. So, ngayon, uso na ngayon ang libraries sa internet, no? Hindi na kailangang pumunta pa sa mga library na, kumbaga, yung mga physical na libraries, pupunta pa tayo doon. So, kahit nasa bahay tayo, kahit saan tayo naruroon, we can still search if we have the data, if we have our own Uh, for example, computer or any devices so that we will be able to research. We will be able to surf through internet. So, pwede na tayo mag-research doon. No? So, online journals, uh, paano magsulat ng online journal bibliography? So, this is the sample format of writing an online journal bibliography. Here is the illustration URL again. You can find it above. Okay, yun yung URL. Next is, may kita nyo yung uh, journal title, Philippine Journal of Science. Pagkatapos ay volume number. Ito yung volume number niya. Tapos, issue number. And then, page range, publication date, and then this is the title of the article. Then the author is written here below. Okay, so paano mo yun isusulat? What is the format? Okay, so here. Is the, the sample. Soriano Pamela, comma, Villame Rovigem, Kalumba Crisafei, Alviula Jumanovi, Dalima Eileen Grace, Alviula Pedro the Fourth, and, kasi last na author, so don't forget the word end, Bayoga Emma Ruth. So, Next, followed by the title of the article, Utilization of Alugbate or Bisila Alba L, open and close parenthesis, leaves powder to increase vitamin A content of fresh egg noodles. Tapos, don't forget the quotation mark. And then followed by the journal title, Philippine Journal of Science, 149 is the volume number. Number two is the issue number, and then open and close parenthesis, 2020, that is the publication date. So, the rest, 273-281, that is the pages. And then, yung last ay yung kanyang tinatawag na URL. Okay? Get it? Next is online magazine and online newspaper. Again, online pa rin, ha? So, hindi tayo lumalayo sa online. These are the online versions of magazines and newspaper. Both sources have the same format in writing a bibliography in three. Okay, so I'll show you the sample format of writing an online magazine and newspaper bibliography. First, author's last name followed by first name of the author. And then, uh, the article title, meaning there is a quotation mark there. And then, followed by the newspaper or magazine title. And then, month, day, year of publication and then write the url okay here is the illustration filipino magazine is the magazine title the url you can find it above and then the title of the article is the homeschooling how to be the best tutor to your kids and then the author is written here by john michael bautista 
date published is May 19, 2020. So, nagigets ba ako? Naiintindihan nyo ba ako? So, how to write this? Online magazine uh, bibliography. Online magazine sample format para sa writing bibliography is, for example, Bautista, comma, John Michael, comma, and then quotation mark, homeschooling, how to be the best tutor to your kids, and then quotation mark, pagkatapos followed by the magazine title, Filipino Magazine, May 19, 2020, and then the last, isingit mo na yung URL. Here is the newspaper title, Sinag Press, headline or title of article, Miss or Remains COVID-19 Free, DOH, author by Maria P. Timbang, contributing editor. So, ito yung ano niya, no? publication date, and then URL. So, how will you write this? Okay, the author first, Timbang Marie. And then, followed by the headline or title of article, Miss or Remain COVID-19 Free. And then, followed by the newspaper title, Sinag Press. And then, followed by the publication date, June 14, 2020. And then the last is the URL. You just write the URL. Now let's sum up the types or formats of sources of information. Those are A, print sources, and letter B, the online sources. Under print sources are number one, the books, and number two are periodicals. And under the periodicals are the journal, the magazine, and the newspaper. Under the online sources are 1. Website 2. Ebooks 3. Online journals and 4. Online magazine and online newspaper. Now class... To solidify your understanding and the skills of the topic, here are the activities that will enrich your mastery of the lesson in writing bibliography. The first activity is a mystery bibliography entry. To unlock the secret, you must solve first the riddle to get all the bibliographic information. Okay, so let's uncover the mystery bibliography now. And then, just answer the questions that follow. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. So, bibliography, riddle. The author of the source is named after a flower. Quite popular to many lovers. She also has the same family name of that Filipino singer, who sang the popular OPM song titled Tala. The source was published by a press company named after the little brown mammal with very big eyes which can be found in Bohol and other areas in Visayas. You can find the press company in the city otherwise known as the Durian capital of the Philippines and the home of Mount Apu. Its copyright year is the same year the first president from Mindanao was elected. For you to know the title of the source, you need to look at all the words written. Are there letters that stand out? Arrange them and you will find out. Okay class, let's answer this activity on the next video. And that is part 3 of writing bibliography. Sasagutin natin ang mga activities na ito sa susunod nating video sa part 3 patungkol dito sa writing bibliography. 
I hope na may natutunan kayo kahit papaano sa lesson natin about the online sources. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.